Hey everyone, welcome back to Colorful Indian. I am so happy to see you here. Today we are going to be reviewing Copacetic Cosmetics January 2023 bundle. It's definitely late. I'm sorry about that, but it is what it is. So for those of you who don't know, Copacetic essentially has $2 Tuesdays every first Tuesday of the month. It's a really awesome deal and that's you know essentially the colors that I'm wearing on my eye that's from the January bundle. You basically get five shades for two dollars each so you're spending a total of ten dollars to get five new single eyeshadows to add to your collection. So if you are someone who loves building your own palettes, single shades, you know just enjoying all of that and like having you know a cute little bundle of makeup like every single month copacetic cosmetics is definitely a brand that you should be checking out if you have oily eyelids as well seriously like you need to go and check them out again because you can see how beautifully these shades are looking right now on my eyes so today what we're going to do is i'm going to show you some swatches on two different skin tones i'll show you the beautiful eyeshadows that i have received um they were gifted to me um, because they wanted swatches from me, but the YouTube video is actually something that I'm just doing, you know, because I really like doing these reviews. So before we get into the swatches, I just wanted to feature this comment. We do this on every video that I have in my channel. You know, I take comments from, you know, my followers and I basically showcase them because, you know, this is motivation for me and I also really appreciate when people take the time to actually just drop comments. And uh, this is the one of the day. It's, you know, from Coal of the Ball. Um, thank you for that. I'm, I'm happy that you liked this, you know, um, color story. I really think that you should check out Copacetic because, you know, they, they have a lot of gorgeous bundles. So yeah, that being said, let's get into the swatches. I'm really, really excited to show them to you. These are what the swatches look like in yellow lighting. You can see that they show up really, really beautifully on both skin tones and they're just a gorgeous, gorgeous set of shimmers. These are what the shades look like in white lighting. They're really, really beautiful. You can see that they have a bit of a white base, it seems, like just from the sparkles. And this is basically, you know, um, a very gorgeous collection of blue shimmers, perfect for the last months of winter. This is the first shade that caught my eye in the bundle. It's absolutely beautiful and it is called Clear Night Sky. You can just see how absolutely gorgeous that blue is. It's a stunning cerulean kind of blue um really really beautiful this is another shade called dew point this shade over here is called winter triangle you can see how beautiful and how pretty that shade is this shade is called crisp and chilled lastly we have bed of snow which is a really really beautiful white shimmer you can just see how gorgeous that is. We're gonna create a look with it. I can't wait to jump into this. So I've got my base. I went in with the Angel Eyes by True Luscious. I've been using this base a lot more than my P. Louise base because I just feel like it, it, it's just easier for me personally. It has been sitting on my eyes for a while, which is why it's creased, but we're just gonna start the look. I'm going in with the first shade. So that's gonna be the white one that I showed you. And we're just gonna take some of that and kind of stamp it into the inner corners of my eye. I think maybe I should have gotten a packer brush. This is kind of falling off, I think, because I'm not using the right brush. But as you can see, it's just really, really pretty. Going in for that third shade, you can see that there's a clear difference between that one and this one. But they're very, very beautiful. Like this one's obviously like, you know, like a deeper kind of like blue, gray, like a very steely kind of blue, I would say. But it's absolutely gorgeous. It's very, very pretty. Um, and you know, obviously the formula is amazing too. Like I've never really had a problem with <clears throat> copacetic cosmetics, you know, like their shades so far have just been working so, so pretty. Their formulas really work well for me because I have oily eyelids and most of their shades that I have received, including the shimmers, they're not like super creamy and um, super creamy formulas seem to be like very popular, but sometimes for me, I kind of actually prefer eyeshadows like this because it doesn't melt off my eye. And I actually really appreciate that because, you know, who wants to be walking around, and, you know, with your eyeshadow like totally, totally creased and stuff like... That's not going to be fun at all. Wow, I feel like this is already such a gorgeous look. Like, 
the truth is if there were not five shades in here i would just add a black and i think that would be the look for me because i kind of feel like it's going that way but we do have two more blues that i do want to add to the look so i'm kind of interested at this point to see how this is going to turn out because i'm now adding a very different blue like a sky blue to this okay so Wow, I actually really like this sky blue. I think it is so, so freaking gorgeous. But not least, we have the most exciting blue fall, which I'm just dying to get onto my eyes. And oh my goodness, I just put a little and it got me so excited. Okay, so I just finished the eyeshadow. I have neatened it up with a Q-tip and everything. So this is, you know, what it's looking like. I need to go in, do the rest of my face with the foundation and everything. And then I'll come back and I'll tell you my thoughts on the experience using these shades. Hey everyone, so this is the final look. So I basically just added my blush, my, you know, foundation, and then I went in with a lip gloss just to keep it really, really simple. But you can see how stunning these, you know, shades look on my eyes. I'm just going to zoom in so that you can see for yourself. You know, you can clearly see what this looks like. Um, so I'll just give you the makeup details. I used Yensa. Again, I'm such a sucker for Yensa. I'm absolutely in love with them. For the lip gloss, I used Ulek. This is a lip gloss by them, and you can see the shade. It's called Trophy Boy. Um, it's just a lovely orange, and I felt the contrast between orange and blue was really nice, so I decided to do that. It's also kind of a bit subtle, so it's not like super strong and like in your face. And for blush, I went in with Shina B Miami, this one over here. Um, I got this in one of my, I think, Ipsy or BoxyCharm things, and I really, really liked it. So I decided to just use that color. It's, it's very, very pretty. And as you can see, it gives like a very natural kind of like blush to the skin. It's in the shade Rosa. So it's a cream blush as well. So yeah, that's, that's basically it for the makeup details. So I love... The way that this turned out like i'm really happy with it i feel like i could have probably done um maybe a less dramatic look with the wings and everything but it ended up being like this the shades worked beautifully i've basically been sitting with this makeup on my face for about three hours now and i do really really like how it's just kind of stayed there i have not had to retouch the makeup because i used two bases i used you know the true luscious one then i did my nyx over that um, that's the NYX multitasking medium, if you know, you've not heard of that yet. But yeah, that's basically what I used and it always keeps my, you know, shimmers in place. And considering that this whole collection was just shimmers, I felt that that was absolutely necessary. But it, it, it worked so beautifully, so brilliantly. The vibrancy of colors are there. The way it blended was amazing. So I kind of feel like I just did this to kind of show you all the colors and, you know, how they work and everything. I'm sure you could probably come up with a lot better looks than I did. Um, but I love this. I really think it's gorgeous. Um, I'm very, very happy with these shades and I'm definitely going to be playing around with them more. But for now, this is really how I feel. It's just a wonderful collection. Um, they're so beautiful, so vibrant, and they blend so, so well. So honestly, yeah, I just love this and I'm really excited to see Copacetic's next collection. All the shades that I have tried so far from Copacetic Cosmetics have really um, just put a smile on my face. I love the brand. I love all the shades that I've been trying so far. Love the formula. It's different from other formulas that I've tried and I just love the effort that goes into curating you know these cute little bundles every single month i think it's a very very nice thing they also have subscriptions by the way so if that's something that you're into you can totally check it out i will put the link in the description box so you can go and check them out thank you for joining me for another makeup review i'll see you soon for another video bye